Okay, so for our next topic today, we have here conversion of temperature. The first one, at yung pinaka-famous natin na talaga namang gamit na gamit, which is Fahrenheit. Ayan. So, nakikita nyo na yung formula, which is F is equals to 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. While centigrade, or yung ating kinatawag na Celsius, that would be equals to 5 over 9. Open and close parenthesis F minus 32. While si Kelvin is, uh, Kelvin is equals, equals to Celsius plus 273. While si Rankine, that would be degree Fahrenheit plus 490. So, ito ah, let's try to solve itong ipapost ko sa, ano na lang, sa screen nyo. Okay, so, ayan. Uh, nakikita nyo, convert 45 degree Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> so, gamitin natin yung formula na nakikita nyo dito sa board natin. So, first thing to do, we have here yung ating given. So, ang pinaka-given natin ay 45 degree Celsius. Or Celsius is equals to 45 degrees. And, ang hinahanap natin is yung Fahrenheit daw. So, what would be our formula? So, since we are looking for Fahrenheit, ito yung ating gagamitin ng formula. Which is, Fahrenheit is equals to 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. So, kopihin ulit natin, 9 over 5. Si Celsius, replace natin ito ng given na 45, plus 32. So, guys, nga pala dito, ang tandaan nyo, ang lagi natin ginagamit ay PEMDAS, okay? Pag nagsusolve. <clears throat> PEMDAS, again, ano yung PEMDAS? Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, divide nyo sila, which is 1.8, copy si 45 degree, plus 32. Okay, multiply muna since multiplication ang nauna kaysa sa addition. So, that would be 81 plus 32. So, our final answer would be 81 plus 32 is 113 degree. So, our final answer would be Fahrenheit is equals to 113 degrees. Okay? Okay. So, what about yung <laughs> number 2? Let's try convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Ayan, ipapost ko sa screen. Given natin would be Fahrenheit is equals to 30 degree. So, Anong gagamitin nating formula? Hinahanap is si Celsius. So, that would be ito, yung centigrade. Okay, lagay muna. And then, formula would be Celsius is equals to 5 over 9. Open F minus 32. Then, close parenthesis. Equals. So, since dito nakikita nyo may open and close parenthesis tayo, right? Okay. So, pag ganito, una nyo muna silang uh, gagawin, okay? So, sa 5, 9, yan. I, ano na din natin, i-break down. Actually, itong 5 over 9, 0.555 something siya. So, gamitin na lang natin is, uh, eto, dalawa lang na point. And then, close in parenthesis, which is 30, yung given, minus 32. So, parenthesis muna. 30 minus 32 would be negative 2. And 0 0.55 multiplied by negative 2. Final answer would be negative 1.11 something siya. Mahaba, okay? <clears throat> Pero ano ha, ang lagi nyong sundin yung required sa school nyo. Huwag yung nandito lang, okay? 
So that would be our Celsius is equals to one, negative 1.111 one uh, one, one, one something. And uh, also I'd like to, ano, to tackle na din yung isa pang formula na pwede natin gamitin when it comes to centigrade. <coughs> okay, ito pa din yung given, ha? So, yan. Yung formula, guys, na ituturo ko is, madali lang din to. Ito, another for Fahrenheit. That would be minus 32 over 1.8 thousand. So, replace lang. 30 minus 32 over 1.8123. That would be is equals to negative 1.8 one 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 something ganyan yung same sagot lang diba pwede nyo gamitin din yung gantong uh, formula okay yeah. I'm sorry uh, Celsius pala to Celsius sya okay sabi dyan express the temperature of 150 Fahrenheit to absolute temperature eto guys ha pag sinabing absolute temperature eto na dyan napapasok tong dalawa tong Kelvin and si Rankin Absolute temp. Ayan. Kapag ka naka-encounter kayo ng gantong problem sa, ano nyo ah, sa school or sa mga sinosolve nyo. Okay, let's try. So, ang ating given is si Fahrenheit, which is 150 degree. <clears throat> While ang hinahanap, it is si absolute temperature. So, kung mapapansin nyo, sino ba sa kanilang dalawa ang may given na Fahrenheit? So, ito, si Rankin. So, si Rankin ang gagamitin nating formula. Yeah. Formula and solution na pala to guys, ha? So, magiging Rankin is equals to degree Fahrenheit plus... 490. So, given natin si 150 degrees plus 490. What would be the total? 150 plus 490, that would be equivalent to 640 degrees. <clears throat> so, that would be our final answer. Si 640 degrees. <clears throat> okay, gets nyo ba? Okay, so how about tong si number 4? Ipopost ko siya sa screen, basahin niyo muna while binubura ko siya. Yan, sabi dyan, convert the temperature of scalding water, 54 degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So, ang hinahanap, dalawa, di ba? Sabi, uh, to degree Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So, ang ating given lang ay 54 degree Celsius. Or Celsius is equals to 54 degree. <clears throat> and we are looking for Fahrenheit first. Ayan. For formula. Formula number one. That would be our uh, Fahrenheit is equals to 95C plus 32. And formula number 2, that would be, formula number 2 would be Kelvin, right? Kelvin is equals to degree Celsius plus 273. <clears throat> so, yan. Let's try to solve uh, yung dalawang hinahanap. First one is si Fahrenheit. Okay, same process kanina. Then, replace si 54 degree plus 32. Magiging ano to? 1.8 54 degree plus 32. So, multiply muna and sa bago mag uh, plus. So, answer would be 97.2 plus 32. That would be equivalent to 129.2 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> okay, how about naman si Kelvin? 
So, same process kanina nung ginawa natin sa ranking, which is replation ng 54 degree plus 273. Pagpa-plus nyo lang sila, the answer would be 327K or Kelvin or Kelvin is equals to 327 degrees. Okay? So, yan. So, ang itong absolute temperature, sobrang dali lang niya kasi mag lang kayo nung mag -aad. So, how about itong number 5? Papost ko dyan sa screen. Basahin nyo muna. Convert the temperature of the coldest area in freezer, negative 10 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and anong sabi dyan? And Kelvin. So, ang, ang given natin, we have Fahrenheit. Ang given pala ay Fahrenheit, which is negative 10 degree. And ang hinahanap natin is si Celsius and si Kelvin. Ang unahin muna natin si Celsius. Lalagay natin si Celsius dito. 5, 9, uh, F minus 32. And then, same formula, that would be 0. Point, ano ba ang 5.9? Ito ay 0. 0.555 something, diba? Pero 0. 0.55 lang gagamitin natin. Then, uh, parenthesis first. Ito, bin, an, inano lang natin, ginawa lang natin siyang decimal. Okay, and how about, ang F natin is negative 10 minus 32. Tapos magiging negative 42. Lagay natin si 0 0.55 dito. And multiply. That would be equivalent to uh, positive multiply to negative. That would be negative 23.333 something siya, diba? Lumabas sa calcu nyo. Okay, and since... Okay, pero let's try to use dalawang ano lang muna. And number 3, ang sabi si Kelvin. Di ba si Kelvin dito, si Celsius ang hinahanap niya. And ang given natin is si Fahrenheit. So probably, we're going to use yung nasolve natin Celsius, which is negative 23.33. Kelvin, nasa si Kelvin? Equals C plus 273. <clears throat> so ang Celsius natin is equivalent to... Negative 23.33 plus 273. Okay, pag-i-solve nyo na. And our final answer would be, ano, would be 250. Okay, guys, kung nagustuhan nyo itong video, huwag nyo kalimutan na isubscribe ako and like itong video, okay? Okay, again, thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.